All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you daily horoscope for Saturday, the 21st of August, 2021. We're getting ready for this big full moon happening about eight in the morning on Sunday. But we're not there yet. Everything is anticipation leading up. So we're going to be feeling this energy as the moon's not going to be conjunct anything today. It's like it went from conjunction of Saturn, this little bit of pressure on Friday, maybe a lot of bit of pressure on Friday. Then this release, as the moon opens up in the sign of Aquarius, it's going to be making some interesting aspects over to Mercury and to Venus, uh, uh, Mercury and Mars, excuse me, in the sign of Virgo, as Venus uh, is still creating this grand air trine uh, with Saturn in Aquarius and the North Node in Gemini. We still have this kite formation that we talked about on Thursday. This will be happening on Friday, or on Friday, on Saturday as well. So we still have this great sense of the direction that we're headed into while we're also seeking information. The direction that we're headed in is truly about releasing knowledge from the past that no longer serves this new path, this new direction that we're headed. And Saturn says, I have the personal responsibility and authority to make these decisions for myself. And I value my relationships with myself and my relationships with other people. So I'm going to do whatever is necessary. Now, our moon today uh, is still moving through the sign of Aquarius. This is a technological sign, the sign of the community. Uh, humanity here, Leo, you know, we have the sun moving into the anerotic degree, the 29th degree, and this is where the sun and the moon are going to meet up on Sunday around 8 a.m., um, a little after 8 in the morning in my time, uh, at 29 degrees. It's like they're, we're getting this, like, last glimpse on Sunday, you know, of, of the soul energy you know then that's that's really what a lot of this is about here is just like remembering the power of being human remembering the power of, of of your individuality remembering the power it's like this is this body this creation that we have here is this is special this is something very unique and very powerful uh our thoughts are these you know this this our brain is like this powerful processor that that's a, a manifesting machine you know and our heart pumps the blood through our body it's like they, we're, we're just it's like we don't even have to think about it we don't have to think about breathing but we can take over it if we want to you know we don't have to think about digesting our food it's like we're, we're these amazing complex beautiful works of art in the sun in the sign of leo it, it should be reminding us of this every day that you're a beautiful work of art that there's no picasso there's no van gogh there's no dali there's no uh, destination on this planet that's more beautiful than the you know the relationship that we have internally and externally on this planet with ourselves and with and with others venus here in libra you know and then across the way, we've got the moon in, in, in the technologically driven sign, the community driven sign of Aquarius. And it's just like as a human being, as an individual, I can do so much. When we get together collectively in community, we can do a lot. And, and, and the fundamental core of my, my human abilities, and we'll talk about this a little bit more tomorrow too, you know, for this, this um, um, full moon horoscope. But, you know, something we've talked about before is just like, I can see from red to, to violet, you know, but we, with the use of technology, we can see infrared. With the use of technology, we can see ultraviolet. So it's just like with, with the use of technology and community together, what we can create collectively is greater than what in one individual can do. It, it surpasses the ability of what this amazing complex, you know, being, earthly being can do. So then we're able to tap into an environment, an unseen world that exists, that coexists within our world. And that's part of the beauty of the, the Aquarian energy as well. You know, it's because Capricorn here is the physical world. It's, it's all of the physical world. And, and Pisces kind of represents all of the other dimensions, the non-physical dimensions of life. The emotional, you know, greed, money, power, something that, you know, the, the Scorpio kind of energy, compassion, love, creativity. We can't measure these things. Um, fear. You can't measure that. You know, these are all, these are all a different emotional energy. So it's just like all of the, 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 the emotion, those other dimensions, the non-physical dimensions, it's kind of Pisces. All the physical stuff, Capricorn, that space in between where where the physical gets to learn about the non-physical, well, that's Aquarius. And we have this great energy, and Aquarius is also about information. So we have all this energy as well saying, like, 
like step into this, lean into this. I'm like pointing to the, <laughs> I'm, you know, lean into this, lean into seeking information with other people, connect with these other people and see what human beings can do and let go of whatever you think you know. Because again, if, if we're over here saying, look, it's a fact, you can only see between red and violet. And here comes Jupiter and technology saying, and there's an abundance of technology. This is going to be a connection tomorrow too. And Saturn says, let's make this technology real. And the emotional need for the community, the whole, the group saying, look, we need this. And now we can see beyond red and violet. But we have to let go of that thought that's limiting us to break free. My friends, have a beautiful Saturday. And as well, sorry, last thing I want to say is the moon is also going to be creating this little connection over here to, it's like a septile to uh, Mercury and to Mars in the sign of Virgo, which is also staying focused, staying driven, and it's focused on the services and the work that we provide and give back to others. So in a sense, this is also saying like, get out there, communicate, connect with the people, because the thing that you do that makes you special and unique, you're, you're, Leo, you know, you're, this is your, you're a special snowflake, you know, I mean that in all the love in the world. Um, you're, you have a special, you know, gift and offering to the world as well. And Mercury and Mars are saying, let's put our mind and our actions together. Venus and Libra, let's put our heart and work to other people. You know, so Virgo is all about that work. Uh, so we have all this information, and then at the end of the day, it's just like, yeah, we got to connect, we got to work, we got to, you know, put our services out there, you know, whatever it may be. You know, emotional need to connect with the community and a need to be of service with the community, you know, to not withhold. I think that's the thing is not being conditional and not withholding, but saying like, okay, we're in this together. This is my arsenal and your arsenal. And that's kind of a Scorpio energy. Um, but, you know, like we're, 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 we're going in. I'm not going to withhold anything back. I'm not going to be conditional, hold something back, uh, uh, I'll withhold my services. So, all right, friends, that is our day. Have a beautiful Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow with this full moon.